Oh, we are so back. Formula S is back and ready to go racing once again. Welcome, race fans, one and all, to Autodromo Nazionale Monza. We are here at the Palace of Speed itself here in Monza, Italy, just outside of Rome, ready for some action and adventure on this 3.6-mile legendary circuit that has been part of the Formula 1 calendar since its inception back in the 1920s, technically speaking. Formula A is ready to take on one of the most recognizable tracks anywhere in the world with everybody watching. My name is Sebastian Cortez, here is your starting grid. Amelia Fuchs will start on pole position ahead of Dylan Baptista for an Audi and Red Bull front row. John Whitaker looking for his first career win starts third, Tina Namion lines up fourth. Jimmy Spock shows one of his strongest showings in qualifying so far. He starts fifth ahead of Tristan Tobin in sixth. Bree Lee for Hyundai will start seventh with Valerie Benedict starting eighth for McLaren. Rounding at your top ten is an Aston Martin in Min Kim and Kayleen Pham for Alpine. Moving on, in row number six, John Wagner for Ferrari will line up 11th in Ferrari's home race. Alpine's Emrin Wong will line up 12th. John Fitzgerald and Lizzie Salem, the other Ferrari driver, will line up 13th and 14th. Least by this and Raigai Hinchcliffe, the most recent race winner, is Raigai. He'll start 16th. Diego Vasquez and Ricardo Bautista will line up 17th and 18th. Aiden Yoder has had pretty good qualifyings, but not this time. He starts 19th, just ahead of Brendan Flexman in 20th. And the Morales brothers, Angel and Sergio, will start 21st and 22nd, respectively. They call this place the Palace of Speed for a reason, but there is rain, so how will this affect the drivers? It's time to find out as that it's lights out and away we go. And Amelia Fuchs will get away well just ahead of Dylan Bautista. We are on board with John Whitaker on the intermediates. In fact, the entire grid has started with intermediates here this afternoon as John Whitaker looks to pounce here for second place and maybe even first. He's looking good so far, but he will not be able to make it happen, at least not first place, as we have a wreck in the back. That's one of the Audis, I believe. No, that's McLaren of Valerie Perez. Sorry about that. And it looks like she'll be fine to continue, but that will cost her a shot at victory this afternoon, unless a miracle happens. We're waiting on the replay here to see what happened, and now we have it, so let's have a look. It's a three-way crash. The Alpine of Killeen Pham barely gets away, but it looks like it was the Aston Martin of Min Kim that got into the side of Valerie Paredes there. Fortunately for everyone involved, everyone is fine, and their cars are still running. Now on board with Diego Vasquez currently running in 19th place as he is under attack by Brennan Flexman. He was just overtaken by Ryan Hinchcliffe not long ago. The two Canadian drivers in the field have made steady progress in the AMCI. It looks like they're trying to do the same here in Formula S, but qualifying was not kind to either of these two. It'll be interesting to see if they can make some moves to, to bring up their efforts. And speaking of Hinch, let's hop on board here. Let's follow the number 29 car. As he's up to 18th as we speak, and he's looking at number seven, a spot number 17. Aiden Yoder is ahead, but he's got a full second in between the two. This rain is definitely affecting these drivers, as we wouldn't normally see how quickly they can actually go, especially at a track that demands it. Now, up ahead for third place, John Whitaker currently sits there. Further back, Brendan Flexman actually has lost some spots, so that's very unfortunate for, for our most recent AMCI race winner as of this race. So more drivers are starting to make moves up ahead as we enter the second lap out of five here this afternoon on this 3.6 mile circuit. Raigat Hinchlip unfortunately has a penalty. It looks like he may have made some contact with Diego Vasquez there. Further ahead, Amelia Fuchs, our pole sitter, has set the fastest first sector of the race. At least as of this moment, we hop on board with the Hyundai of Sergio Morales. And he's chasing down the Toyota of Aiden Yoderan. Who was that to the inside? That, might, that was Aiden Yoder actually. That was quite a bold move there, as now he's trying to overtake the Aston Martin of Ricardo Bautista. And yikes, a little bit, almost a little bit of contact there between Morales and Yoder. That can get dicey here, especially at a track like this. Tina Mamion sets the fastest sector too, as Aiden Yoder is trying to get into the slipstream of Sergio Morales, but Sergio is not allowing it to happen. He's trying to break away from that draft. So it looks like this battle has set in, it's calmed down for a little bit, so let's check in on other drivers. Mohamed Ridwan is another one, the Monagas driver who won his home race earlier this season, currently in 15th place, chasing after John Wagner, one of the Ferraris in the field as he's going to go down the outside. He's going to try to overtake, this is a battle of red and blue here, as they go into the chicane, will John Wagner, I mean sorry, will Mohamed Ridwan be able to make the move stick, because he's got better speed going into turn one. Into the braking zone we go, and yes, he can. No, actually, no, he can't. 
stellar defense there by John Wagner for Ferrari. He's going to keep 14th place for the time being. But those two better watch out because Sergio Morales and Aiden Yoder and Ricardo Bautista are all looking to, to grow up the field here. As we see of the Hyundai of Sergio trying to chase down the Alpine of Ridwan, but it doesn't look like he can get there just yet. We go into another braking zone here. Down the end, down the outside goes Sergio and he will overtake Mohamed Ridwan. He's going to take 15th place away from the Alpine. I want y'all to know, first place is virtually unchallenged as we speak. Amelia Fields has put two and a half seconds of distance between herself and Dylan Baptista in second. And another two seconds separate Dylan from John Whitaker currently sitting in third. Mohamed Ridwan, here we go, trying to make a move and take 15th place back from Morales, from Sergio Morales. Mm -hmm. But he doesn't even really quite get there. Remember, with this rain, there is no DRS, no drag reduction system as Tristan Tobin will set the fastest Sector 3. We have not talked about this dude all day. Tina Amy on me while moving up, actually battling for fifth place against Bree Lee, Sergio's teammate at Hyundai. Meanwhile, Jimmy Spock is up in fourth place. He is doing just fine. The battle seems to be further back though because the top drivers are actually putting quite a bit of distance. And we've got a five second penalty for Brennan Flexman. How did that one happen? A lot of the back markers are making contact with each other, but it, I really don't think it warrants these five second penalties. So keep an eye for that to be modified uh, going into the later races of the season. Up ahead, we jump further ahead to the podium spots where John Whitaker is trying to catch up to Dylan Bautista, but he's actually falling behind. With that said, he's holding on comfortably to third place. I think that matters more, especially because Jimmy Spock, his old friend and rival, is catching up with less than one second separating the two. Speaking of Jimmy Spock, here he is battling against Tina Namion. It's Audi versus Toyota here for fourth place. As Tina's gonna try and make a move, but she's just a little too far back for that Audi to catch up. So far, so good for Jimmy Spock. He's gonna keep fourth place, at least for the time being. We enter the fourth lap, just two laps remain. Actually, no, we're entering the final lap of the race here. And as I mentioned before, Amelia Antutes is unchallenged all race long. Nearly three seconds separating her from second place, Dylan Baptista. We'll check back in with our leader here shortly as Bree Lee for Hyundai tries to attack the Audi of Tina Namion. Barely, barely goes off the track, but she should be fine to continue. Further back, the Ferrari of Lisa Salem continues to hold on to 11th place. See, there we go, another collision. I don't understand where all these collisions are coming from. Legit, like, keep an eye for this penalty system to be modified. I, we really don't think it justifies just little bits of contact. That's just racing sometimes, so stay tuned for that. Meanwhile, Sergio Morales moves up to 13th place from his original starting spot of 22nd. So a very impressive and strong effort from the Hyundai. I think it's really cool for him. I hope to, and everyone is hoping to continue those strong efforts. Meanwhile, further ahead, down the back stretch for the final time this afternoon, over three seconds separate her from second place Dylan Bautista and she looks like she's going to convert pole position into her first win in Formula S. She comes around the final corner for the final time and Amelia Anfuchs for Audi, the German driver, is going to win the Italian Grand Prix. Amelia Fuchs is your race winner with Dylan Bautista and John Whitaker standing out the podium as well. Jimmy Spock and Tina Namion will round out your top five. And we'll go over all your race results here shortly as we get the last drivers crossing the finish line. Pretty action-packed race here this afternoon in Italy. Okay, so our race results look like this then. Amelia Fuchs, Dylan Bautista, and John Whitaker will stand aloft the podium here in Italy with Jimmy Spock and Tina Namion rounding at your top five. Sixth, 7th, and 8th places went to Brie Lee, Tristan Tobin, and Kayleen Pham respectively with Valley Perez and Min Kim rounding at your top 10. Lizzie Salem just misses out on top 10 here on her, at her team's home race. Sergio Morales will finish in 12th. John Wagner, John Fitzgerald finished 13th to 14th with Mohamed Ridwan finishing in 15th. The rest of your results are Luis Perez, Diego Vasquez, Angel Morales, Aiden Yoder, Raigai Hinchcliffe, Ricardo Bautista, and Brennan Flexman. Looking at our championship points, there's a tie for 19th between Luis Paredes and Jimmy Spock, but further ahead in the standings, Tristan Tobin is just ahead of Lizzie Salem by 3 points for 15th place, as Lizzie currently sits in 16th. Further ahead, we have Diego Vasquez in 14th, Tina Nami on 13th. We jump ahead to our top 10, where Brennan Flexman currently sits with 43 points in 10th place. Angel Morales is just ahead by 1 point in 9th. 
And here we see the rest of our current championship standings. Our top two in the championship have swapped positions as Sergio Morales takes the championship lead from M. Ridwan, at least for the time being, by eight points. From Ferrari's home race this afternoon, we head to Toyota's home race up next. So join us next time around when we head to Suzuka Circuit in Japan. We should be in for an absolute thrill of a race there, and we hope to see you all then. Till then, my name is Sebastian Cortez. Be kind, and we will see you all at the next event. It is so good to be back on this channel.